Jainel Díaz, this is Locked On Astros. Hello and welcome to Locked On Astros, your daily Astros podcast. Here are your hosts, Eric the Man Heisman and Brett H-Town Wheelhouse Chansey. I talked about the other day on one of the solo shows, you have, you know, Verlander, you have Randy Johnson, you have um, Zach Greinke, who was eight and one when he came over right? Um, and pulled too early, maybe. And then you now <laughs> have to say Kikuchi and you say Kikuchi really as effective as he's been. You take away these nine wins from this team, Eric, and you, you cut it in half. You're talking about still being tied with the Mariners right now. You're right. talking about they just won two out of three. Now they have the tiebreaker. And so everything else changes. Everything changes in the Astros perspective. If you say Kikuchi isn't here. So maybe we call it the you say effect. Uh, and, you know, to me, one of one of the biggest things, and I don't know if, I don't know if you caught this, but um, whenever Jordan went went down, okay, whenever Jordan went out with the injury, Jason Hayward told Joe Espada, don't worry. I got you. I got your back. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not only did he punch the wall yesterday <laughs> with his left hand, we had a home run after that. I mean, Jason Hayward is a leader and you know, that is something that's important and who knows Jason Hayward could be an X factor. I mean, who would have thought that Peterson and Solaire would have been heroes for the Braves in 21. Right? right. I mean, it's the guys that you least expect it in a cast of stars. And that's what some teams don't realize. Yes, it's about production, but there's a reason why the Astros brought, brought Aled Ms. Diaz back. He he was a leader. He's a guy that, uh, yes, he didn't stay long. Uh, I didn't expect him to, but the reason why they tried to do it is because he's a leader. And when the Dodgers let go of Jason Hayward, I mean, Dana Brown knew who he was because uh, word travels. And so when that's why I said, Instantly, when he was released by the Dodgers, I said that night. I don't know if you remember that. I said the Astros are going to sign Jason Hayward. A and lot what of people were like, "What did I say?" I was like, "No, I, no, yeah." You're like, "No, they won't do that. They don't have any room and everything." So, well, oh, I, by the way, I, they did. Go ahead. Before we go too far, um, Chas McCormick, uh, he will be out for the rest of the uh, regular season, but he is facing high uh, pitches, uh, like high uh, pitching high sorry, high velocity pitching. So uh, he hasn't faced live pitching yet, but he is uh, close to being ready. So he could be a factor for the postseason. Yeah, definitely. Um, look, my biggest concern going to the postseason, Eric, the bullpen. That's it. Everything else I'm fine with. I'm not worried about the offense. I'm not worried about the starters. Just worried about the middle guys. I'm not worried about the back end. Just worry about the middle guys. I just don't know how they're going to perform. 